Bloom News Brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. In a brand new interview with Guitar World magazine, Judas Priest guitarist Glenn Tipton is fired back at his ex bandmate KK Downing. During the interview, Tipton said, I never wanted to get into a public argument after KK left. I never said a word and I stuck to my guns for over 10 years. But there comes a point when you read things that have been said that are just crazy. It's time to say something because he's saying things that he really shouldn't be saying. They aren't fair. He's insinuated that he was the driving force of the band. Priest is made up of five guys working together. There's not just one person driving the band. He said all these things that I think are meant to upset us and get us to say something in response, and for a long time we didn't. But I've got a lot to say and enough's enough on Downing's claim that Tipton was drinking too much during the shows. Everyone knows it's not true. Like I said, the fans aren't stupid and they've seen me for 50 years playing around the world. I may have had a couple of beers on stage, but that's all. It's never affected the concert or my performance whatsoever and he knows that. Elsewhere in the interview, Tipton said that he used to piece Downing's leads together. I did a lot of editing to make his lead breaks worthwhile. I would never have talked about Ken that way. It's just that his accusations have gotten sillier and sillier, and I deserve to respond. He left the band. We couldn't convince him to stay. And then he accused me of taking six years off to write two solo albums. I only did the solo albums because we were inactive at the time while Rob was doing his solo things. Tipton's response comes after Downing's latest comments on the Goldmine podcast where he said, If I had retired, why shouldn't I be allowed to step back out of retirement? Bands always come out of retirement. Guys always leave bands and rejoin. Bands self-combust, Guns N' Roses or whatever, and come back together. It's par for the course. I feel as though I was ousted out of the band. I mean, if you take the guys individually, Rob left the band for 14 years and I was instrumental in getting him back. Glenn left for six years to do two solo records. He was allowed to do that. No problem. If that's what you want to do artistically, I can't stop you. And Ian, bless him, we went to kindergarten together, but he was never a writer in the band. He comes along with his bass guitar and he's done a great job. But without the songs, there is no band. I provided the songs all those years, which was a livelihood for Ian. And now he's saying he's voting me not to come back in the band? Can you see the irony and why I'm angry about it all? The three guys, and I was the loyal guy. I was the guy who never wanted to play with other people because my focus only was Judas Priest. To purchase the latest issue of Guitar World magazine, which features the entire interview with Glenn Tipton, click the link in the description. More news at fullandbloom.com. 